Okay, today we're on day 14 of having these quail eggs in the incubator. So we want to, we're going to go in, we're going to take them off the turner because um, we don't want them hatching and getting their legs all caught up in there. They're real unstable when they first come out. And uh, the eggs don't need to be turned anymore at this point. Um, and by now our water's been getting, our water's low in there and we want, uh, we want to make sure the humidity is high and stays stable as they're hatching. Uh, that's very important. Um, so we're going to go in. We got our, we got water here that is right around our 99 degree mark of the temperature of the incubator so it shouldn't change things a whole bunch. So we're just going to go ahead, take the turner out and just put the eggs in and let them lay in there until they all hatch. And then we just place the eggs in there and let them go ahead and hatch out on their own. So that what's important here, actually, I want to go ahead and fill up all our water trays so our humidity stays good. Um, this last stage, it's very important that we don't have any changes in, in the humidity or the temperature. Um, it's real easy to get excited. I just got some crickets coming in here. Um, it's really easy to get excited when you see your first chick hatch out and want to open it and take them out. Um, but you can actually kill the rest of the babies in doing that. The, the, these quail eggs have a real thick inner membrane and if they're in the process of hatching um, and you change that temperature, you open the incubator and change that temperature or the humidity a little bit, it can, that membrane will actually shrink wrap the baby. Um, we had a very low hatch rate on our very first one because we did that after like a day having a couple chicks in there. We opened them up, opened it up to pull them out real quick, closed it up none of the other eggs hatched after that. Um, so once you, when these start hatching you gotta leave them in there and until you see about about 70 percent of your eggs have hatched. They're, they're gonna be fine in there. Um, they typically will hatch at around 18 to 20 days uh, up to 21 days. So I've had them start hatching as early as 16 days um, but it's typically 18 to 20 days so I'll just leave them in the incubator until until most of them have hatched. Um, if it's been you know two or three days, I'll open it just partially, scoop out the babies real quick, close it back up, and uh, you'll occasionally have a few more hatch out. But typically, once you open the incubator, not too many more will hatch out after that. So this is what we call a lockdown procedure because once we uh, once we do this, we do not open it again. So it should stay stable and consistent and we will have chicks hatching here in the next uh, four days. So just uh, it's an important step that you want to keep in mind when, uh, when taking your eggs out of the turner and getting ready for hatching. You re it's the only time I refill the water. I just fill it in the beginning when I put the eggs in and then again at this 14 day mark and that's it. So hopefully that helps. All right, until next time, people.